Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with yet another skincare routine and this one is specifically going to be for calming and cooling down your skin as we start to enter into the warmer months. I don't know about where you guys are but in London the weather has slowly started getting more and more hot every day and I've actually noticed that despite the fact that I do drink quite a lot of water, my skin's been feeling a little bit irritable. A lot of the time it's because of hay fever, pollutants, irritants in the air, especially if you live in in a city like I do. I live in London, which is very polluted. So the first thing I actually wanted to share with you guys was a brand new launch before we get into the actual skincare routine itself. This is from the brand called Haru Haru Wonder, which I have shared with you guys in the past. It's an absolutely amazing skincare brand and I have been using their products off and on for the past year, year and a half, and I have shared them with you guys in the past. Just to let you guys know, this video has been done in conjunction with Style Vanna, who you guys know I partner up with every other month, and they always send me their latest skincare to share with you guys, and I also test it out on my skin for weeks in advance of doing an actual video. So I have used all of these products significantly here and there, depending on what's going on with my skin. So back to this product right here. This is, like I said, a brand new launch from Haru Haru Wonder. This is the black rice bakuchil eye cream now if you followed my skincare videos for some time now you will know that i mentioned at the beginning of the year bakuchil is the on-trend skincare ingredient for 2022 bakuchil is great for anti-aging for reducing the signs of aging reducing wrinkles helping with things like pigmentation elasticity and firmness of the skin which is why it's no surprise that this brand has actually come out with and other brands actually have as well a eye cream version of it because a lot of the time when people start to age the area around their eyes is what starts to show those signs of aging first as the skin around your eyes is very very delicate and very very thin as well. The Kuchil is actually a plant derived skincare ingredient so for those of you that are vegan you would definitely like to use something like Bakuchil in your skincare routine. It works in the same kind of way that retinol does but retinol can be very irritable for a lot of people's skin which is why they have moved towards Bakuchil purely because it works in exactly the same way but it is a lot more milder on the skin and a lot safer to use as well. Bear with me as I just read some of these claims for you guys just because obviously I can't remember everything. <laughs> obviously it contains bakuchil and I've already told you what the benefits of using that is. It also contains fermented black rice which moisturizes the area from the inside out keeping it nicely hydrated. It also contains bamboo shoe extracts that provide antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. So for those of you that get puffiness around the eyes, it also features Sika and NATO gum the iron out lines on and around your lids and I tend to use it all the way around my entire eye socket. It also contains niacinamide which is obviously known for brightening that under eye area. Now, I've been using this for about three weeks and I have to say that I absolutely love it. You can use it in the daytime, you can use it at the night time, it's completely up to you. A little bit goes a really long way. So what we're going to do now is go into the complete skincare routine as I have already mentioned to you guys and the first thing I'm going to be using today is something quite new to me. It's a cleanser but it is an oil to foam cleanser. A lot of you guys will obviously know that in order to do your classic kind of cleansing routine at night time in particular if you've been wearing makeup or sunscreen we have the two-step cleansing method which is something oil based to begin with to melt off the makeup melt off the sunscreen and then you go in with more foam based kind of cleanser which is there to remove any remaining residue off your face which obviously makes sure that your skin has been doubly cleansed. Now this brand called Pestilo is a very well-known skincare brand in Korea and they've come out with this Our Recipe Oil to Foam Cleanser. So I was really intrigued to try this and I have noticed that it does melt off makeup really, really nicely. So it has like a kind of runny-ish texture. What you're supposed to do is press the pump about three, four times, completely up to you, gently massage it into your skin without wetting your face. And as you can see, it kind of goes like kind of gloopy all over the place. Then you add a little bit of water once you have rubbed it everywhere and then it will start to turn into a foam helping to remove everything off your face. My face feels nice and clean and soft after using this as well and it doesn't feel stripped either. It contains so many amazing ingredients, Rosa Damaskina flower water, Centella Asiatica extract for soothing and calming your skin, Camellia sinensis leaf extract, root extract, 
various different types of ingredients to make sure that your skin is nice and calm and soothed and it is 100% vegan. Next up of course after cleansing we go in with a toner and in today's video I'm using a toner from the brand called Benton. Benton is a brand that I've used quite a bit in the past and their products are generally very very good. So this is a 200 ml toner which is obviously absolutely massive. This is the Aloe BHA Skin Toner. So this is a beta hydroxy acid. So in this entire skincare routine that you're going to see today, this is the only time you're going to see me using any kind of acid. Now the toner itself has a pump and you obviously can either pat it into your skin or use a cotton pad like I did. I find it's got quite a squidgy sort of texture. It's not your normal runny-ish kind of toner, meaning that you don't need to use that much, but because it has got that kind of squidgy kind of feel, it does take a little bit longer to absorb into the skin. So this is suitable for all skin types, but in particular, if you've got acne prone and troublesome kind of skin, this will be great for you as it is a beta hydroxy acid toner. It will provide gentle exfoliation to your skin in order to remove dead skin cells and leaving it nice and soft underneath. It also contains aloe leaf water which is known to hydrate the skin, soothe and calm the skin as well and then it also contains one of my favourite ingredients which is snail secretion filtrate, yes snail slime, which is there to repair the skin, to even out the skin and just make it soft and gorgeous. Next up we've got this strange looking thing right here. This is from the brand called Esfolio. I have shared Esfolio with you in the past in particular I've shared their aloe vera gel which was I think about 99% or 100% aloe vera gel so this is the moisture soothing gel mist aloe vera 90% which obviously means that it contains 90% of aloe vera extract it comes in a gel mist form the mist is very very fine it very easily absorbs into the skin and will completely soothe and calm any irritated kind of skin if you've got sunburn if you've got allergies that sort of thing a little spritz onto your face of this will immediately cool it down straight away and soothe it i absolutely love it i've used a fair amount of this i would say already so i'm actually really really happy with this 90 percent is obviously absolutely excellent that means it's a very high content amount so for those of you that have got trouble some kind of skin that regularly flares up for no reason you would definitely love having something like this that you can just throw onto your face easily just to calm and soothe it down especially when it gets really hot outside aloe vera gel in particular is really good at soothing your skin next up we've got this lovely essence once the aloe vera gel mist has settled into the skin this is from the brand called skin food i love skin food i've actually been to their store in seoul in myeongdong and i had a great time there i love their exfoliators in particular and their royal honey propolis line is actually a very very popular line as well so this is called the royal honey propolis enrich essence this is for moisturizing your skin and it contains 63 percent of propolis extract uh, this is again is quite a runny a very lightweight kind of essence i use this in the daytime as well as in the evening it's obviously completely up to you this is a very nourishing kind of essence as well as 63 percent of propolis extract it also contains 10% of honey. So the combination of propolis extract, royal jelly, as well as honey within this essence makes it very hydrating and strengthening for the skin, especially in regards to environmental aggressors, as well as environmental damage and pollution. Honey and propolis are known for being anti-inflammatory as well as antibacterial. So for those of you that suffer from acne and that sort of thing, you would definitely benefit from having something with propolis within your skincare regime. Once that has all absorbed into your skin, obviously take time Time to make sure that everything has absorbed when you don't wait for things to get absorbed into your skin and you get a little bit impatient that's when pilling can happen that's when things start to slide around a little bit more you really need to let everything settle into the skin before you move on to the next step so next up we've got the beauty by joson centella asiatica calming mask i love sheet masks this is a very strange mask it's like a mask with like a layer on top and it's supposed to obviously help you kind of move it around on your face i always make a mess of masks i can't help myself Myself. but the one thing I did like about this mask is that it is actually a very decent sized mask I've actually despite the fact of how I may look on screen I'm not sitting with anyone else I've actually got a very small head so this one fit my face perfectly whereas I sometimes find other masks to be too small 
and I do think that if I've got a small head how do other people cope so again obviously Centella Asiatica extract is known for soothing the skin for calming the skin for calming it down especially if it's very very hot if you've got acne prone skin irritable skin a sheet mask such as this will do wonders for your face it contains so much essence within it that you can just rub it all over your neck and your arms and your hands as well leave it on your face for up to 10 to 15 minutes relax chill and then remove it a lot of essence will obviously be sat on top of your skin still you can always do what i do and cheat and use a fan just so that it'll kind of absorb a little bit faster but once it's done my skin feels so lovely soft and smooth and any redness that i have hanging around has immediately disappeared next up obviously there is the haru haru wonder black rice bakuchil eye cream which i have been loving so much it comes with this lovely little pump so it makes it very nice easy to use and very sanitary as well pump out a tiny little bit onto your finger if you just want to use it on the underneath part of your eye but i would personally recommend maybe using a tiny bit more just to make sure that you get your top of your lids as well because as much as your aging will happen underneath your eyes and to the side it can also happen to your lids because they can start to get wrinkly with age and time as well as gravity can affect the way that they look too so this one very nicely packs into the skin and absorbs super super fast to the point where i use it in the daytime as well as the nighttime moving on to moisturizer now this is not something which is new i have shared this with you guys in the past this is from the brand Perito, a brand that i absolutely adore from korea this is the otin calming gel cream i remember i've seen quite a few massive skincare youtubers on youtube raving about this which is why i've purchased it in the past and why i'm not surprised that this has been included within today's video this is for soothing and calming the skin it's very refreshing and hydrating and because it is a gel cream and i always say to you guys always that gel creams are my favorite i love them because they're clear they're not as heavy as normal creams they settle within the skin very very fast and they just absorb super super quickly there's no stickiness there's no tackiness and i love that about them this one contains oat as well as panthenol which is known for hydrating the skin nourishing the skin oats is known for soothing the skin especially if you've got irritable sort of skin as well and it's especially great for people that have got really really sensitive skin this cream actually contains 77 percent of oat seed water to provide a soothing and relieving effect 77 percent is amazing you guys know that when it comes to korean skincare they don't do one percent they don't do two percent they do like 80 90 percent of pure natural ingredients which is obviously amazing it's supposed to protect and improve your skin's barrier as well as calming and soothing it down my skin always feels so 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 soft and smooth after using this and which is why i use it in the daytime as well as the nighttime as well and last but not least obviously we have some sunscreen and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you from the brand frudia which i have shared again with you guys in the past this is the green grape sebum control cooling sun gel spf 50 pa quadruple plus obviously that means that you've got the highest levels of sun protection in terms of uva and uvb rays now the one thing i do have to say i've noticed with frudia products is that they are scented so there is quite a, a strong scent of smells kind of medicinal, but if you can get past that because the scent does kind of fade um, after a couple of minutes it's great for deeper skin tones because you don't get a white cast with it it doesn't feel sticky or anything like that on the skin i've obviously put makeup on my face afterwards and you can see that it is completely matte there's no shininess or anything like that despite the fact that i have applied all these products to my skin prior to the sunscreen it's got a very kind of lightweight gel kind of texture it contains niacinamide which is obviously great for your pores as well as brightening the skin it contains green grape extract which is there to hydrate the skin and something called anti sebum p which is apparently there to reduce excess sebum production so for those of you that have got oily skin combination skin acne prone skin you will absolutely love this i find that when i use this it does not interfere with my makeup whatsoever keeps my oiliness and shininess in my combination zone at bay and it feels really nice and comfortable on the skin it also has a very nice kind of cooling effect which goes hand in hand with this whole video in terms of calming and cooling down the skin now as you can see all my skincare is obviously done let's move on to the makeup which i'm going to keep kind of quiet i'm not going to talk through that it's kind of self-explanatory just to share with you guys how i then came up with this makeup look a little bit later on i'll make sure to obviously include everything in the info bar below so i hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all soon bye